this is an indictable offence, you will likely go to jail. Listen, let me tell you, everyone in real estate needs a Jamison Fisher on their side, accountants and lawyers to the industry. By the way, I don't get a single cent. I am an ambassador of a few tech firms, but I, 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 I'm, this is purely a recommendation on their service that they give to clients. And today, Lisa, um, I want to talk to you about um, a solid agency agreement so agents can keep their commission when it's sold. Um, I have had a client very recently who uh, had to actually uh, not, because uh, he, 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 he had an incomplete agency agreement and it was one small issue that made the agreement invalid. And I said to him, I said, oh, did you get fined? He goes, mate, he goes, the fine was the least of my issues. The issue is my $40,000 commission. He goes, I've done everything perfect except one small section on the agreement. And uh, so I want to talk about that. I want to talk about agents also need to be very clear about how and when VPA is to be collected from. If you're listed and you get the contract in that comes to market. And I spoke to Tom and Susan last week about this because um, I had two calls from agents on the same day and they'd done all that. They'd listed it, they'd marketed it, and there was VPA payable on settlement. So they'd funded it along the way and it's coming up to settlement. And the solicitor prior to settlement sends over an authority from them and from the purchaser solicitor saying, release the deposit. Right, it's held in trust. And the call to me is, do I have to release it? And my answer is, yeah, if you've got authority of both parties, that money is in trust for both, you do have to release it. Then they say to me, but can I withhold my commission? No, you can't hold withhold your commission because you've got rules surrounding trust monies and a direction to pay. You have to move it. Now, real estate agents have what we call a lien on your commission after it settles. After you get your order on the agent, do you have to release all of it? No, you have a lien on it. But until it settles, you've got to release it. So the reason both agents were told to release this money to the solicitor is because they needed it for settlement because there's a shortfall with the bank. So if they sold it for a million dollars, the mortgage on it's 1.1. What chance do you think that my two agents have of getting their commission and their VPA after settlement? Not Zero. Not yeah. Zero, nothing. Um, then I moved to, right, send me the agency agreement. So I see an anglicized name for um, someone of an Asian extraction with an address for them at the property that's just been sold. The vendor says to the agent, I'm just about to go back to China. I'm leaving, that's it, I'm done. This just hasn't worked out well for me. Um, so there's no opportunity to sue. There's no money left, there's no assets. The bank is going to be the first creditor if they let it settle, um, but there's no money left. So both agents are essentially going to be stiffed for their commission and VPA. I said to the agent, go get the contract. And I'd spoken, this is a manager, so not the salesperson that sold it. I said, go get the contract. I said, go have a look at the title search. What's on it? And he goes, yeah, it is. I know what you're asking. You know what I was asking? How many mortgages are there? And I said, this is what's fallen out. Because we've had a good market for so long, one of the old school things we used to always check was flick over to the title search. Ooh, second tier lender behind the Commonwealth Bank. <laughs> Means they're in money trouble. I, that's your first warning, Will Robinson. Okay, when you see second and third tier lenders on the title. If you have um, organised, so as soon as the contract comes in, so you may book the first lot of ads, but I would not be spending your money on VPA that's due on settlement, if I see second tier lenders or two or three mortgages on a title, because uh -huh. it tells me there's not gonna be any money left, uh -huh. Uh -huh. right? So go back and do some of the old school things that just sort of fell away, you know, um, and check that and check your exposure. So Lisa, before you go on, and I but, can't remember who it was. I got stopped physically by a client in the inner west on the on the last few days. Same situation. He said to me, they're forcing me to release the deposit. We've got to release it, but I know I'm not going to get any money. It might be one of those two clients you're talking about. I'm just having a mental blank who it was. And he said to me, 
what do I do? I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know what to say to you. And you're saying you've got to, re if it hasn't settled, you've got to release it. Yeah, it's trust, it's trust money. So different rules apply. Now I'm aware that there are agency agreements floating around that actually have a contractual provision in it saying that if, so in the agency agreement, let me be clear about what I'm saying. There's a contractual provision saying that prior to settlement, after unconditional exchange and prior to settlement, if I have to release funds, I can leave the commission that I will ultimately be due in my trust account. That is going to fail. Anyone who tests a vendor that tests it, it's going to fail. It's an unfair contract provision. Second of all, for all the licensees in charge, those sale deposits are not the vendor's money until settlement, right? They're trust money held in the account of the vendor and the purchaser, and they are the earnest that binds the bargain, right? Right. An agent has an entitlement to commission when it settles because the agency agreement is the agent saying, I will introduce to you a ready, willing, and able purchaser who will buy your property on terms that are agreed. And a purchaser becomes ready, willing, and able when they settle, right? So until it settles, you don't, you haven't done what you contracted to do. Okay. So Lisa, if you're in that situation and you realize, shit, they've got financial problems here. Uh, you know, there's a, a, a number of banks that are involved with money here. I'm not going to get my, I got a funny feeling. I'm going to struggle to get my commission. Is there anything you can do before you release the funds or not really? It's given you a test drive of real estate gym. Let me tell you, if you're a subscriber and a member of the gym, you'll be getting videos from our co-coaches all the time. You'll be getting mentors. You'll be getting scripts. You'll be getting dialogues. You'll be getting templates. And most importantly, my prospector your personal accountability system to make more calls get more appointments get more listings from around ten dollars per week realestategym.com.au your personal coach